You know, there are some things that I am not that Jim Wheeler is. And one of those things is that I'm just not old enough to be sitting while I fish all the time. I'm not that old yet. I am. You got more in a bucket than you, both. <laughs> oh, you do not. He's just such a liar. Cooking something? Huh? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it was hot. <laughs> so what we're gonna get into today, something I've never experienced or experimented with before. Ice fishing with flies. Link to everything I use always in the description. These are ice fly jigs I'm using from Minnesota, and I figure people in Minnesota know a thing or two about ice fishing. Found them on Facebook. Hey, we'll give them a whirl. Let's see what happens. So where's one nice bluegill? Here we are. With the fly. Big old. Oh, oh, oh. What a catch, baby. Come here. Yeah. You want me to move my other rod? Yeah. That whole tube off? Hey, hey, let me tell you. You want me to move that so you can fix hey, that whole thing? Hey, tube? back up. Sputter. Sputter. Absolutely coming in on my space. That's what you call a catch. Got the hands of steel. Superman ain't got nothing on me. Oh my gosh. Whew. Ooh. Got something. I don't know if you know how far up my rod was. Oh, we got a jambalaya bluegill. Oh, man. He come up about four foot. No, probably closer five foot off the bottom. Smoke this fly. Tell you what, another good thing I got this noodle rod with the uh oh man, this where I can feel it with my finger. Cause it was kind of it was a pretty subtle bite, but you can see right there. There's the uh fly I'm using to catch these jumbo bluegill. I do think if there's any disadvantage of a fly, is I think sometimes they probably bite the, the feather coming off there. However, that's also a, a good thing at the same time because it's getting me bites. So in my parts, it's February, late February, really. And ice fishing generally gets a lot tougher this time of year. I think the fish just get kind of conditioned. It's they kind of condition all the pressure they've been facing all year long. So trying to find something different to give them the bite is key this time of year because of, of that. So man, I'm thinking this fly is gonna end up being a really good alternative, especially when the bite starts getting tough like hey, it is right now. Nobody cares, be quiet. No one likes Jim Wheeler. We figured out here, between Jim, Ray, and myself, I'm eight foot, he's seven and a half, eight foot. You see where his bucket is, five feet to the right of that is 10 foot. There seem to be a few weeds right through here. So we're drilling a few extra holes and back out behind us is much deeper water and we've marked a few fish. But uh, we come up in this little bit of shallow water, and man, we're starting to mark a lot of fish here. <laughs> there, it there we are. Oh man, I had my GoPro going for the last eight minutes. So we good to go. Come here. Gosh dang, Jim, you know what they call me, don't you? Andy. Go ahead and say it. Big fish, Andy. Big fish, Andy. <laughs> Big. Oh. Because you want to talk about big. Oh my. Check out this bad boy. Come here. Come here. Oh my gosh. There's a pipe yes. <laughs> Wow. I think that's the personal best. Holy moly. I can't stand still anymore. Oh, that's a giant. Jeez. <laughs> Give me that one. That's a giant. Dang. He didn't play with that fly. He didn't play with it. Oh. Jambalaya. You know, I made that comment earlier about the, the feather. It's going dead. 
she's missing some strikes, but my gosh, you can see <laughs> that whole feather's gone on that beauty. Oh, man, you come way up. I think I got my noodle rod here. I never feel these bites. Oh, what a beauty. Look at the colors. These fish are coming way up off the bottom. I'm sitting in eight foot of water. That fish bit three feet below the ice. All of a sudden they show up and very, very light bites. And that noodle rod is letting me know when they do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Jumbo, Jumbo. Jambalaya. Look where it's set. Look where that hook is. Bow. All right, boss. Fork one of them over. Huh? Oh, twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five bucks. All yeah. right, you need one? I gotta check these out. All right, I'll go grab you one here. You wanna hold on to my friend before I go grab you that? All right. So two years ago, I released a video fishing with these same two knuckleheads, Jim and Ray. And Ray was smoking us all pretty good by putting on what he called like a wedgie or wingy or something like that. And if you look at that video and the, the link of that pop up here in just a second, I'll also put it below. Uh, it's titled Crappie Fishing at Night. Anyway, that very much mimics that wingy, except it's not plastic. It's certainly a different action than the plastic. But and, and those of us who, uh, for those of you who enjoy using plastic now instead of live bait, and that's one of the other beauties of this. Huh? No live bait today. One of the other beauties is is that. I mean, it's it's got that action. It's a different action than plastic. Oh, woo! Not sure I might have a bass here. <laughs> I set the hook on that thing, and it just said, nope, not coming. Ooh, baby. It could be definitely be a bass, or I got a jumbo panfish. Come on. We got ourselves a bass. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Stop it. Stop moving. There we go. <laughs> well, not exactly what we're going after, but uh, starting to get a little feel for this fly. Yes, sir. There's a good one. Ooh. Ooh. Whatever you are, stay buttoned up. They button up to my fly. Oh. Three pound line. Like I said, all my tackles in the description. Oh, we got another big bass. Come on. Come here. Quick move. Come here. Oh. Get grab. There it is. Yes. <laughs> oh man. So look, look where that look where that fly is. Man, well I've been missing out. Over the years, never ice fishing with flies. You watch all my other videos. Normally, I am a jig, tungsten jig with a with a with a spike on it. That's usually what I'm throwing. And I'll say this: that jig, that's not lead. That's tungsten too. So it sinks like a rock. Not only does it sink like a rock, the Vexlar picks it up especially well. Now I'm catching bass, big bluegill, in late February, February 20th, 2021. And man, I tell you, it's going to, the end of this ice season is going to be good. Golly. Look at that slap. Man, am I glad I picked up a fly today. That was a bite. <laughs> I seen that one. <laughs> you see that one? I seen that one. All right. <laughs> Give me your big jambalaya. Shoo-wee. And there's more down there. Oh, oh my God. You got it in there. <laughs> yeah, That's it. Ain't no better crew of people to catch a fish in front of. Yes. Jimmy and Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a big old fat. Rabbit. Yes, sir. Oh, just snapped my line. Yeah, there's that fly right in his mouth. 
No, it's better. Besides, it was even better than showing it off to you at home. I'll show you it's better. Showing off how this is done to Jimmy and Ray. Grin and weep, children. We had a great day, ice fishing day. We came out in the afternoon when the morning bite was all done. And I'm going to really credit the three things that have really contributed to success. Number one was the fact we get moving around and we found this area with a concentration of fish. Number two, definitely the noodle rod helped me detect some really light bites. It is not an aggressive bite here necessarily today. And number two has definitely been this fly. This fly has definitely caught more fish than, than I would have normally expected, at least in the middle of the day. And those three things have led to our success today. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Until the next time, we'll see you on the water.